back to my channel. Today I want to get started talking about volleyball spandex. So the girls and I have been putting together this video so that we can give you our best options for volleyball spandex. I'm going to start first with the option that I typically purchase for players on my teams and they are the A4 compression shorts by Epic Sports. These shorts cost $5.99. Now, be mindful that there is a significant price for shipping, um, so they may end up being about eight or nine dollars for the shorts. However, these shorts are amazing. They have limited rise. There is a drawstring to pull them in any more if you need them any more or any less. They run anywhere from a size extra small adults to a size 3X adults. Um, additionally, they have an eight inch inseam. The reason why I like the eight inch inseam is because I don't have to see players picking in their butts, pulling their shorts down, and not paying attention to what's going on on the court. My favorite thing to do is see my girls focus on what's going on because their shorts are not up there behind. Um, additionally, these shorts are not see-through. Um, when we first bought them for the first time, we thought that they would be see-through because they were so inexpensive, but they are not see-through at all. They work really well when you are sweating. They have a four-way moisture management fabric that helps. I did look down to see, um, but it definitely helps with the amount of sweat that you have during your games. Now, personally, I wear these shorts myself to go under dresses and things of that nature. You're not a volleyball player if you don't wear your spandex under a dress. So um, I definitely purchase these shorts myself um, and I wear them myself and they are absolutely comfortable. One of the problems that I still have, even though I have had a significant amount of weight loss, is chafing where my thighs rub together. With these shorts, I don't have those problems. Hey guys, so editing Gabby here. Um, I just wanted to review the pros with you guys. The pros of these shorts are that they're not see-through, they're long and you don't have wedgies and you don't get chafing. Um, the shorts have an eight inch inseam, so they're very long. Um, they come in a variety of different colors. Um, they also have other styles on that website that are equally as cheap, but I think these are the cheapest ones. They do have a drawstring to pull in if they are a little bit too big for you. Um, they come in a variety of sizes from an extra small adults to a 3X adults. Um, and they have a four way moisture lock technology that absolutely helps to reduce the sweating in these um, the cons for these I would say is the price of shipping um, and typically the shipping is not too long of a wait but sometimes when you need it in a pinch it can take a little bit while for shipping so that would be the only two real cons as far as like cons about wearing them the only thing my players don't like to wear them because they're so long but I like them wearing them because they're not digging in their butts just saying. I'm going to forward you on to the next player and her idea of the perfect shorts. These are the spandex I own. These are the Nike Pro spandex shorts in the color black. I chose to show you guys this color because um, color black is a neutral color that I use to pair with a lot of practice shirts so it goes with anything and it's um the color i own i have like three pairs of these i think and especially on your period you want to wear a dark color just in case but these go for 30 dollars because this is in a size woman medium yeah wait let me check. yeah medium so I got these, these ones were like $30. They do go on sale. And if you can fit in a kid size, extra, extra large, or a kid's size in general, then those are only $20 and I would go for that. These are the three inch inseams. So they stop right about halfway on my thigh. Yeah, so this is how long they are. These ones are pretty short I guess the pros about these shorts um I would say 
they're really durable i've had these for about like two or three years i think three years now yeah and yeah these are pretty old but no rips nothing nothing major has happened they do shrink if you put them in the dryer so i do hang hang them to dry um another pro would be they come in a variety of colors and inseams so if you want a longer inseam you can find those in store or online and if you want like a color a specific color to go with a uniform they most likely have it because they have a lot of colors like a lot and the two cons about these though are when when i'm playing sometimes they do ride up my leg my thigh and it gets uncomfortable when that happens because I have to pull it back down. But, I mean, I guess to fix that, you could get a, a longer inseam. And another con would be they're not cheap. I mean, I was saying, as I was saying, they're, they, I don't know, they like, sometimes they do have sales. But when they don't have sales, it's really expensive. Like $30 for one pair is not, not cheap for me. To me at least so if you do find a sale that that's great but these do not go for like ten dollars these are like thirty dollars a pair which is a lot but yeah so that's it okay my name is morgan um my favorite brand of spandex are nike and my favorite spandex are nike clearly nike pros um they're black i don't know how much they cost because i got these for christmas but i do know the um inseam length i know it's like 33.1 or something like that unless that's wrong but i don't think it's wrong so um the material is polyester 80% polyester and 20% spandex, clearly. It says that here. They're not see-through. Like, they're not as see-through as I thought they were. Like, they're really high quality, not see-through. None of that. Um, Two pros that I have about these is that they have a good compression fit. And, and they fit my muscles. Like, I don't have that much muscle, but like, they fit the ones that I do have. The two cons is that they ride up a little bit. And that they're like really short. Like really short. And when they ride up, my butt cheeks just pop out. But I just pulled them down. So, yeah, that's all. Hi, my name is Amari. And these are my favorite spandex. And this pursuit. EP. Um, these are blue. Just a regular blue. I have two pairs of blue ones. Uh, they're about $25. Um, the length, the inseam length, is about two and a half inches. I don't know if that's regular, but they feel regular, so. Um, they're made out of polyester. And they're very stretchy. They have a little bit of spandex, but they're very stretchy. Um, they're not see-through. I haven't had any problems with that. Um, two pros, I would say, are they're very comfortable. They fit true to size. Um, they're very breathable. Uh, they don't tend to ride up quick as quickly as other spandex do. But if they do ride up, um, it's not like tight or anything. Um, it's just the normal ride up. But I feel like that's the only problem with these. Um, other than that, they're very good. That's why they're my favorite. But yeah. Alright guys, so Future Gabby here once again. And I just want you to be mindful when you're purchasing shorts of the price. Um, the inseam length, which determines how modest your player is. Mm -hmm. To reduce chafing for your player, you may want to go with the longer inseam length as well so if she complains about her thighs rubbing together 
get her some longer shorts. A lot of volleyball shorts are currently being made with a two and a half to a three inch inseam. It is a lot more difficult to find the longer inseam shorts. Um, if you have a middle school player, you may want the, in the longer inseam shorts. And I recommend the epicsports.com. I definitely recommend the A4 sports brand. Um, there are several other brands on that website that do offer um, the longer inseams as well in different colors. Um, but you also want to make sure that you're considering your, your price point. Um, <laughs> just like anything else, volleyball spandex can come to be extremely, extremely expensive. And there's something that you want to be durable and there's something that you want to be long lasting for the player just to have and be able to continue to wear. Um, and there's something that you're going to need quite often as your child grows and as your child switches to different schools, she may need to change different colors. And so just having the options, color options available is the absolute best thing at a cheaper price. So you also want to um, find out whether or not the shorts that your player will be wearing are see-through. Um, that will determine the types of undergarments that they have to wear with those shorts. Um, as a point of reference I always recommend that players purchase black or blue shorts just kind of as a baseline and then if their schools change or whatever the case is um, they can change them then but black or blue is always going to be like a main staple color um, that your player should have so aside from that I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I know the girls and I definitely enjoyed making it. Thank you again, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.